time once again for us to journey to the little castle. For cartoons and fun with everyone's friend, Mr. Patches. And here he is. <laughs> oh, you guys better watch it because a friend of mine's going to get you. That's right. What do you mean? Welcome, dear friends. How are you? You look great. Hey, welcome. Welcome. What now? Howdy, Wrangler. Howdy there. What this station really needs, needs is... is a good cowboy show. That's right. It, they re it, Yes. Uh, my name's Jack Miller, in case you don't recognize me without my big red shoes or my uh, silly wig in my, in my hat. But I used to uh, do a program that uh, Satan was accepted, and it was called... Uh, Don't forget your, your Mr. Patch is in the Little That's Castle. We'll it was on Monday through, Monday through Friday, Friday every Monday afternoon Monday. after school. And uh, we did lots and lots of neat things. Some of the things I remember that were the most happy were <clears throat> Easter egg hunts in Six Flags parking lot on the Sunday before Easter when the weather was not exactly what you call warm and comfortable. Interesting insight to that we were setting up we put red goose golden eggs all over the parking lot people started to arrive and the gates weren't open yet so they were all lined up on the highway and we were still working setting up the prizes and everything when a helicopter went overhead it was the uh, highway patrol and they s spoke through their speaker and they yelled down to us open the gates open the gates and we yelled up we're not ready and they said, yes, you are. You're lined up back to Lindbergh. That was a long, long way for cars to be lined up on that highway all the way out to Eureka. Some of the things that we got involved in were, of course, uh, lots of uh, neat things. And the one that I was pretty happy with was one that turned out great. It was called Grandma of the Week Contest. Uh, the puppets that we had on the program were Cecil the Dinosaur, Norton the Duck, Princess Moonbeam, the queen of love and beauty of all the witches in the world, and Van Gogh, the itinerant chalk artist, and Mr. Patches, and Sidney the chicken, who used to fly in screaming like Tarzan every once in a while, scaring us all. But we asked all of you to send us a note saying, I love my grandmother because, and you could write as many words as you'd like, and send us a picture. You see, we didn't have a grandmother. None of the people and the characters in the little castle had a grandmother, so we would adopt one each week. And that was kind of neat. We had an awful lot of happy grandmas and grandpas, and, and uh, it was just another one of those little touches that we did on TV 30. When we went off the air, uh, I was very, very sorry, and I couldn't apologize to uh, the children who had reservations on the program. It was something that was beyond my control. The program had to go off the air at TV 30, and I was most sad. But when we left, there were still about six years of birthday children waiting to come on the program. And that did make me feel very, very bad. Uh, I'm sorry. I wish we could have continued to today. I'd still like to see your children and your grandchildren every afternoon. But uh, I'm retired now. I do gardening. Um, I do windows. I'm sure that many of you moms and grandmothers are happy to hear that. Uh, I'm just taking it kind of easy. And life is kind of nice for me right now. I think about the old days, but I try not to think about them too much. Because I had an awful lot of fun with you all. And we'll see you Monday. Have a nice weekend. Time to wave. Wave as hard as you can. That's, come on, wave. You see, who's off the... Be sure to join us each weekday afternoon from 3 o'clock until 4 o'clock for cartoons and fun with everyone's friend, Mr. Patches, in The Little Castle. There's still much more to come on our special look at the last 30 years on 